Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. My name is Shireen and I focus on fashion and lifestyle video content. Today I really wanted to do a really quick video of a, what I wore on my recent Mediterranean cruise trip. If you guys have not seen the vlog, I will link it below so you can see all the details about that trip and what happened and why you will know why I don't have as many outfits to share the way I originally intended. So with that being said, let's get into this video. <laughs> Some of the pieces um, I won't be able to physically show you guys right now because they're dirty, they're crushed. For this first look, um, I wore an H&M, I think it's called like a sateen, um, long line blouse with two pockets. I've had this for at least, a, uh, this blouse for at least a few years. I used to wear it to work all the time, but I wanted to wear it a little bit different. You guys already seen these cargos that I've just been wearing like crazy this past summer from Fashion Nova. They're just like some wide leg olive green cargo pants and I wanted to wear it for the fall and mix the textures a little bit. So I paired it with that sateen um, long line blouse from H&M. That of course is pretty old, but I did link the um, link something similar on their website. It's a pretty, I don't wanna say it's considered like basics, but H&M usually sticks to the same kind of blouses and they'll do similar ones every year. So I did find one that was similar in the similar color. So I paired it with these sneakers, you guys, if you are familiar with my channel, you've seen them before. These are the um, Air Jordan mids. Um, love these sneakers. I need to like clean them now. I haven't cleaned them since I wore them and uh, since I purchased them. I purchased them I think in the beginning of the summer and when I tell you I wear these things like crazy. I love the color combo. It has my two favorite colors, green and blue, especially navy blue. Like I've been really into greens and navy blues lately. You can tell kind of in my wardrobe. And then the last piece from that look is this. Um, this is a genuine leather Bottega dupe, the Jody bag dupe that I got from Amazon. I've talked about this bag plenty of times on my channel. Um, it is no longer on Amazon and this is the genuine leather so it looks so good. Like I, it feels so good. Honestly, there's no reason for me to spend $5,000 or $4,000 on, on a bag on the original Bottega. I am good with the Amazon version. DHL has one on their website, DL Gate, DHL Gate, I'm not sure, but I cannot speak to the quality of that bag at all. I don't know if I'm gonna link it or not, but you can find it. I don't even know if it's genuine leather. So this here, they do have it in other colors on Amazon. So I definitely um, suggest you guys go on Amazon, explore a different color, but I love the gold. I wore this, um, um, this set, this is a jogger set from Zara. It says Paris, it is pretty old. I honestly could not find, I was searching yesterday to find something that was similar. I mean, there are plenty of off-white jogger sets on the internet, but I can't speak to the quality, so I didn't link it. But that's what I wore my second day. I paired it with those same um, Air Jordan mids. I featured this jacket on um, my website, um, on the, the channel. <laughs> I featured this on the channel already, and I wore this actually as a jacket versus blazer I did not pair it with the pants and I just wore it with some regular jeans and just a white t-shirt this is when we our first stop was um, Ibiza um, in Spain but it's pretty thick and I thought this was such a cute look and I kind of toned it down and made it a little bit of more around the way girl with the my name earrings that I've, I've I've talked about on my channel so many times but yeah so I wore this bright red look and this is probably the only like bright color that I wore on the trip I pretty much stuck to the same color pad palette of muted blues greens and neutrals just because I wanted to um, I wanted my, my pieces to be interchangeable. And that is still on Zara's website, so I have linked it below. Oh, the next look, I'm actually kind of wearing most of it now, but so I'll just insert clips. But it is this, um, this shirt from Zara. It is a cropped denim shirt. You guys can find this pretty much anywhere. When I, It's not on Zara's website, but I did pull one from, oof, 
where did I, I don't know, I linked it below anyway <laughs> when I was preparing my description box and the links. So I did find something similar. The jeans are from Fashion Nova. I featured it on my channel as well, but I did re-link them below. This was the first time I actually wore these um, Anthropology red boots. They are faux leather. Um, when I ordered it initially, I thought it was genuine leather. I misread, but when it came, when it arrived, I actually still liked it, so I kept it. Um, so yeah, I wore it with these just to have like a pop of color. Okay, so for the third, for the, oh gosh, I don't know what number I'm on, but for the next outfit, I just wore a, a black jogger set from Zara. It I purchased it so long ago. I don't think that exact set is on the website, but it was just like a black jogger set. And then this jacket that you have seen on my channel, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it so many times. It's that crop trench coat from Zara. Um, if I, I don't don't think they know I don't they don't have it on the website so I'll try to link something similar and then I wore it with some um, Doc Martens that I think my sister actually purchased them I think from Poshmark so they were pre-loved but they couldn't fit her so I she gave them to me they're so comfortable. I think that's my first pair of Doc Martens. I've ordered them some years ago, but I didn't like how hard the, the leather or whatever material it was. These are really, really soft. They're really, really comfortable. So yeah. I'm gonna say the last look I wore this white crop top shirt from Zara. You guys have seen this on my website before, but it is still on the website, so I will link it below. And then I wore, um, this is probably like one of my favorite looks from the trip actually, but when I say this thing, it feels like butter. It feels like butter, it's so soft. Originally, I ordered the extra large and then I got it, tried it on and it was just too big. I didn't like the fit of it, so I end up getting the large. So if you may wanna, I mean, it depends on the retailer between the large and extra large that I wear, but I feel like this has a, it's kind of stretchy. It's a wrap skirt. So it does have a um, button to hold it up, but I just wanted, I wanted my waist to be cinched in a little bit more. And I'm thinking, I, no, I probably couldn't have went down to a medium, but I wanted my waist to be cinched in more, so that's why I went back. I exchanged it for the large, but I love this skirt so much. It feels like butter. Oh my God, it feels so soft. It feels so much like, le like actual leather. So I wore that, I paired it. So I paired that outfit with these patent leather Prada, um, these patent leather Prada boots. I've had these for so long. I've probably had these for a good six, seven years now. I got them on sale um, at Nordstrom. And then I also paired it with this Prada wallet that I wore as a clutch. This is pre-loved and you guys, I'm gonna, I have another video coming up where I'm gonna be showing, um, I'm gonna be sharing some new pieces that I have in my closet and many of them are luxury pre-loved pieces from Midtown Authentic. Midtown Authentic, you guys know, it's. I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this um, website, but they do lives on Instagram all the time, but I love them so much. Their items are definitely authentic. So, um, with consignment pieces, there's only one of each. Sometimes though, they do get items that are very similar. They'll get duplicates. You just never know. And I will no longer place them, um, tag them in my videos on Instagram and TikTok because they tend to shadow ban. They didn't do that on Instagram, but on TikTok, I got shadow banned because I put Prada via, you know, the consignment shop and I guess Prada does not like that, okay? So I won't be tagging them anymore. So if you guys are not here on YouTube watching this video, it is a treat for you. Yeah, that concludes this video. I wanted to make it kind of short and sweet. I don't know how short it is because y'all know I like to talk, but, um, mm. Yeah, for some items, I did get 
quite a few items that I did not get to wear so I'm gonna feature that in another video like a collective haul so make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell if you are not following me on Instagram make sure you follow me there I always place my handle in the corner of the video screen and in the description box it is at Shireen underscore H you guys definitely follow me on Instagram you get more of a day-to-day you know we can have a little key key in the stories as well uh, but yeah that concludes this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video